Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I am going to review the Deco Pro one third horsepower, 2,400 gallons per, per hour sump pump. And this is the box right here. Of course, I got it with the as a uh, blue at the bottom. Uh, it says blue, but it's really all black and it has blue at the bottom. Okay, I bought this on Amazon uh, six months ago. I paid uh, $59.99. However, it's on sale tomorrow. Actually, it's on sale right now, actually. $47.99. Uh, Cyber Monday sale on Amazon. Um, it is a sump pump, though. It is not the automatic type sump pump, meaning that it doesn't have that uh, ball, the floating valve. And so when it gets a certain, uh, water goes to a certain level, it kicks in. This is a more straight pump, sump pump. This is like for pools, swimming pool, when you want to transfer, uh, you know, what they call water transfer, something like that. But it works also great as a sump pump if you're not in a flood zone where you need, uh, you know, uh, automatic to kick in automatically and things like that. Like in my case, I don't live in a flood zone. This is working great for me. Okay. Like I said, it's one third horsepower. This is the box right here. Deco. Okay, and here you got the specs right here. Let me put it close right there. The specs, one third horsepower. Of course, thermoplastic construction. Uh, you can see right there, twenty four hundred fifty gallon per hour. Okay, discharge size, uh, one eighth is solids is okay. It works well. I'll show you. I'm going to show you a, wor a real working example. Unlike some of these reviews where they show uh, pouring water in a five gallon bucket. I'm going to show a real world example. Okay. And I even hooked up mine with a check valve. Okay. So again, $59.99. Regular price. I, uh, right now it's on sale for $47.99. And uh, let's go to the setup. And like I said before, I don't live in a flood zone. However, I you know it's, I, I I do run this every once in a while when I do get a significant amount of rain where it starts coming in the basement. Of course, I got mine. It's, it's not automatic, but I can remotely turn it on because it does not have an on/off switch. I hook. I bought this guy right here, Amazon Alexa uh, power adapter that I can remotely. You can see right there, plug one and plug two. I can remotely turn this on anywhere. I have done that before. Okay, because again, it's not automatic sump pump. And, you know, this is a temporary uh, setup for me. As you can see, it's all nice and full of water there. Uh, this is my sump pump. Of course, like I said, not an automatic one. This is uh, just a 75 feet of uh, hose that goes all the way out to the uh, alley. And, of course, I have a check valve. This part right here is a check valve that I purchased separately. I'm going to put that in the also in the description, the link to that check valve, because the check valve prevents the water from uh, coming back into the pump, which you don't want. You don't want that to happen. Once the water flows out of the pump, you want it to keep going. You don't want it to go back, flow back in there. It's a big no-no, so you must get a check valve. Okay? So this check valve is another 20 something dollars, I forgot. And as you can see, it's filled. It's almost filled to the tippy top. So, let's turn it on. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a world a real world example. Okay. And of course, um this pump has been a lifesaver for me. Meaning that uh back in I think it was in August, we had a record amount of rain here in Yonkers. We had about eight inches in a 24 hour span which is unheard of and this kept up with it the water was all the way up here but it prevented my basement from getting flooded and i ran this thing 24 hours straight and it kept up and there was another instance where we have five inches of rain in two hours which is again unheard of this thing kept it up it kept up with it okay so 2400 50 gallons per hour and this thing kicks butt okay i'm gonna tell you so right now as you can see the water level is going down 
And like I said, I have mine hooked up to a hose temporarily until I set up some permanent plumbing. Of course, this also, like I said, this pump is not an automatic pump. If you live in a flood, this pump works for me. But of course, I, I would like to have a more automatic solution in the future. It's, of course, a lot more expensive, cast iron one and all that. This is, like I said, $47.99 on sale right now. Or $59.99 regular price. As you can hear, it's going to the bottom. And of course, down, down there, that's River Rock that I filled in, in that pit. A 25-pound bag. And I had this since, uh, like I said, about six months now. This thing is a lifesaver. There you go. It's all gone. You see that? It's all gone. So let me show you. Um, so this thing really kicks butt. All right. So there you go. That's the Deco Pro sump pump. 2,400, 50 gallons per hour, one third horsepower. And there you go. Check it out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.